Welcome to Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're going to show you a more a more modern quilt block that's a lot of fun but it's called a deconstructed log cabin. Now the food industry has this thing about deconstructing you know peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and giving you all the flavors that you would have in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a plate but not have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well this is what we're going to do here today with a log cabin. But first, I want to talk to you about the International Stitch Marathon, March 4th, 2022. And I want to introduce you to one of the other hostesses of this fun event, and I'm looking so forward to it. Her name is Jen Frost. She's from Faith and Fabric, and we're going to put a link to her YouTube below. And we would really love you to come that day. So, let me introduce her to you, and then we'll start sewing this deconstructed log cabin. Hi there, welcome to Faith and Fabric. I'm Jen Frost. I'm so excited to welcome you to my small business. Here at Faith and Fabric, you're going to find beautiful quilt patterns, gorgeous fabrics, and beginner friendly sewing projects. Let's take a closer look. Our quilt patterns are designed to coordinate with the Faith Year. We start in Advent with our beautiful Advent Wreaths quilt, which highlights each of the four weeks of Advent. When it comes to Christmas, there's a whole selection to choose from. My three favorites include the pieced and appliqued Silent Night, the foundation paper pieced Mary and Jesus, which captures that beautiful moment between mother and son, and the Jesse Tree Quilt, which takes you on a journey from creation to Christ's birth through 25 themed blocks. I've also written devotionals for quilters. The first one is our Patchwork of Salvation, which takes you on a journey all the way from creation through Christ's birth and is meant to accompany the Jesse Tree Quilt pattern. Inside, you'll find beautiful quilt blocks, each designed around a specific day and a specific journey, all accompanied with um, space for devotion and space for reflection. The second book, um, Patchwork of Redemption, is coming out just in time for Lent. Speaking of Lent, one of my most popular patterns is the Lent quilt pattern, showing three crosses on the hillside. I've seen so many beautiful quilts made from this pattern with all kinds of colors in the background, our second quilt for Lent is the Holy Week quilt, which like the Jesse Tree quilt is a themed quilt where you create one block for each of the eight days of Holy Week. For Easter, we have the Risen quilt, which just speaks joy. Now I love creating these patterns, but even more than that, I love creating them with you. And that's why almost all of our patterns have video tutorials out on YouTube to accompany you every step of the way. Now, I also really like to free motion quilt, and that's where I love my free motion Fridays. So almost every Friday, I have a new free motion video out designed to teach you a new pattern, as well as tie into a reflection as each pattern is inspired from scripture. So thank you for spending a few moments with me. I look forward to getting to know you a little bit more in months to come. Take care. Okay, I've got my trusty little box of two and a half inch pre-cut strips and <laughs> this, these are all strip sizes that I use lots of and I also cut some low volume strips just to make sure that I had some you know some fun low volumes to do this now what we're going to need for this is I'm going to need some oh let's see let's pull some of this out so what so these are the basic pieces that you would need for a log cabin a two and a half inch square, a two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle, and a two and a half by six and a half inch rectangle. Don't worry, all those measurements are going to be in the description box below. And I've also done the same with the low volumes, right? So the low volumes are all the same sizes as the the color rectangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this and try and get some different colors in here to show you what I'm working on here. We'll do two blocks at a time. And oh, ooh, 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 let's get this one. That's beautiful. And oh, let's get a purple. Let's get a purple just so we can have fun with purple. Now, how I'm going to put these log these logs together is just like this. That is basically your deconstructed log cabin, right? You have all the elements of a log cabin but it's not going to look like a log cabin. The other thing we could do is put them out of order because that would also give us the appearance of 
a deconstructed log cabin. And it would give you a very different uh, modern looking block that you wouldn't be able to determine whether or not it was a log cabin or not. My brain kind of works odds and sods, but I know uh, a lot of people don't work that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay the block out this way and see what we can get. So I've cut two of everything. So let's just start with I just thought of something. I don't know if I'm going to lose chick Bob and Chicken today or not. <laughs> it could be fun. Now these end up being really cute when they're done. And like I say, I just pulled out some low volume stuff. Just hope for the best. And uh, didn't really think about which low volumes we were pulling out. And we thought, wow, okay. Uh, I love this block too. Because this one too depends on... You know, it's all, what have you got in your stash, right? I mean, what have you got in your scraps? What what are you trying to get rid of? Uh, when we put in the, the, the low, we're going to do another one of these videos where it's a little more complex, um, deconstructed log cabin. And I'm going to, because I have a bunch of one and a half inch strips that I used for a, make actual log cabin blocks. And of course now we're we're done. So this is one, one block. So I'm using a webbing technique to keep these two blocks together. So, oh, what am I doing here? Hang on, let's lay it all out first. We want it to be folded to the dark. So let's fold them to the dark. And they don't have to be in any particular order. Okay. Okay, here we go. And, uh, oh, there. No. With this, okay, I'm just going to pull this off for a second here just to show you what I'm looking at here. If you wanted to make this into a double block, you would actually, so half of them like this, half of them like that, and then it would kind of form a shape, right, this way. So if you were doing a real modern quilt where this is the kind of look you'd want, that's where you would start. If you wanted a look like this, this is how you would sew them, right? And you see all that together? So it's kind of up to you how you want to do these blocks, right? I mean, the blocks are going to be eight and a half, six inch by eight and a half, right? So it's however you decide you want them done. I mean, you can mix up the blocks. You don't have to have an even amount of these, you know, one color and another color as long as you've mixed them up. Like I say, there will be a more um, complex way of doing this block. And we'll show you that in another video. Because I'm going to take all my one and a half inch strips and work with them. And hopefully annihilate a bunch of them and get them sewn into charity quilts. There we go. These sew together so nice. And everything is cut just just perfect here. Everything fits well together. It's an easy, easy beginner, beginner block, but it does look very complex when you're done. And I'm just, you know, push them over. Just push them over, and there you go. There. There. Just like that. Just like that. Low volume is on top. There we go. There. And now I've got 
purple, and then we're done. And this one's gonna look cute in a, like if I decided to stick with all neutrals, or all uh, warm colors, that would look nice. And just let me finger press this one. And this one actually ends up being all the cool colors and we're done. So what do you think of these modern fun deconstructed log cabin blocks? You can have a lot of fun doing layouts on these. Like I say, you could lay them out, you know, color to color even and have them, you know, climb and do all sorts of fun things. You could do any kind of layout that you really wanted with them because they're an asymmetrical block. You could also lay them out so you'd have a focal point like we do on this block here behind me, right? So let us know in the comments below. Remember, I'd love to send you an invitation to the International Stitch Marathon. So if you want one of those sent to you, please, please uh, comment below, share, subscribe, and share with a friend because we'd sure like to see you and a friend at that Stitch Marathon as well. Anyways, I hope you have an absolutely glorious week ahead and have a lot of fun in your sewing room. And I do hope this helps you conquer your Mount Scrapmore too. Okay, bye, have a great week. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video that you just watched. If you want an invitation to the International Stitch Marathon, please comment in, the, in below the video. I would love to send you an invitation to this really fun event. A bunch of YouTubers and I have gotten together and we're going to have the best time ever on March 4th, 2022 from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's going to be a blast and we're hoping very much that you come and join us. But the only way to get an invitation is if you comment below. But if you enjoyed this video, share, like, and subscribe. We're um, so overjoyed that you're back with us and you're watching again. It was, it's been such a lovely journey that I've been on. And if you want to see more videos like this, or videos where I show you my pattern, my very beginner friendly pattern called Barn Swallows, you know, we'll comment as well on those. Okay, you have a fabulous day and a great week. Bye!